Chad and David here with another fast tip. Hi. What are we talking about today, David? Uh, setting throttle endpoints. The speed controller needs to know where the end of your throttle spectrum is. So the high point and the low point, right? Exactly. So it knows where to start and where to stop. We're going to set that. All you have to do is unplug the battery, have it, and then go full throttle, plug the battery in, listen for these tones, one, two, then you go mean throttle, and it confirms it. Now, and David, will all speed controllers have the same tones? No, it will not. And some speed controllers, you can't even set the throttle endpoints on. Yep. But most speed controllers are going to work in this fashion, right? Yes. Why you want to do this is to get resolution. You want the stick to actually do what it's supposed to do, all the spectra, so you can have a nice, smooth flight and have good control. So you're saying you have more steps in between completely off and full throttle. You'll have more steps of resolution is what you're saying. Yes, that's true. But what if your motor is running backwards? Take a piece of tape. This is so you don't have to use your prop and kill yourself. We don't want that. Yeah, don't spin yeah. up a motor sitting on a piece of wood with a prop on it. Yeah, idea. That, that's a bad idea. But you can check the, the direction. Real simple. Okay, that's spinning the wrong way. Take one lead, unplug it. Take it. other lead, unplug that, plug the first one into the second one, and the second one into the first one. Look at that, spinning the other direction. So you're saying you can matter. change any two legs and yeah. it'll change the direction of the motor. That's so true. you're not going to mess it up by switching any two. Just switch any two and it's good. Okay, so now we know how to set the direction of our motor and the throttle endpoints. Sure. Until next time, we'll see you later.